Hello guys and welcome to what is part 2 of my GTA 5 mod manager tutorial series and basically if you haven't seen part 1 you might like to check it out first to work out what's going on. In this video I will install a new car mod, an E92 BMW M3, however I address a different scenario. You see the E92 uses the X64 E file and if you have another mod installed say the R35 that also uses the X64 E. When the files are shifted from Mod Manager across to the GTA 5 game folder when you start it up, GTA 5 is going to get a bit confused, it's going to say which version of X64E would you like me to install? Anyway, let's begin. So as I've said before, I've already installed um, an X64E car mod, so I'm basically going to go into the GTA 5 mods folder, copy and plonk it down in the GTA 5 RPS folder, remember this is the folder we use to store the files we're going to be working on. Okay, so also if you go into my downloads, here is the BMW M3 which I've already downloaded obviously. You'll need to go to a website to do that and you're going to copy all of these files onto your desktop just to make it easier to work with. Okay, so what you're basically going to do is you're going to run open 4 like so and you're going to select open existing archive at the top and find the RPF you're going to be working on, which is the X64E, obviously. Then you're going to go to Levels, uh, GTA 5, and Vehicles, the RPF, and you should see this. Go into Edit Mode, of course, and then you're going to add some new files, which are, of course, the ones on your desktop, the Sentinel, which is obviously going to become the E92. Okay, so close it down, it automatically saves. So go back into GTA 5 Mod Manager, delete the old X64E file, this is because uh, the new X64E file is basically the old version, which is seen here, plus the added files of the E92. So of course you're going to find the location of this new RPF file in GTA 5 RPF Mods, find the original file which is obviously in the GTA 5 directory and come up with a name which of course is just going to be X64E. And then you're going to launch single player. Now as you can see I have installed the mod but not completely and fully, uh, this is because some car mods may specify that you actually have to go in and change the vehicles.meter and handling.meter files. As you can see the E92 is quite a big car and so you may need to tweak some of the settings in there, they will be specified in the mod uh, files. This is because obviously the car weighs a lot more than the stock or vanilla Sentinel in game so you have to tweak that to get it working properly and handling properly. Also, you may like to install some tuning parts which are also shipped in the same archive as uh, the E92 mod. And again, you just go through the same process I have, but obviously it won't be in the x 64 file, it will be in a separate file. So you're obviously going to have to find that yourself, uh, install it, and you're good to go. But of course, these are all optional. Um, do you have the skills, if you use my first video and this video, to install whatever you want yourself, as long as it's an RPF, of course, this is an RPF tutorial. So I hope you've enjoyed the video, uh, enjoy the E92 and uh, take care, peace out, I'll see you later. 